champions are going to play beside that. And now the IV Esports is going for the jungle invade. He's on Chad. Yeah, Chad's going to get caught out here. Try to smite. Go for that HP regen. Wait, but now everyone's collapsing Infernal Dragon. Who will take it? It's now going to be the question. Chad. Chad. Yeah, Chad's going to go in. However, the steal's not going to be possible. Heroes entrance here for Erigov. However, it won't be enough. Moraita Boy still manages to fall back and lead up Esports now. Piling, punishing everyone that tried to enter that Dragon Pit, that Destiny from XSN. Yeah, that's going to be quite scary. As we know, Miggy always make this play. Sonic Wave did not connect this time, but the Dragon Shades will actually secure the kill. Never mind, he gets a kick onto every god. Esports, they're constantly Nixu. making this place. However, Nixu getting cut out with three members of RQ. Piling onto him, he's trying to survive. Goes for the flash and the body slam. Destiny comes. Here comes Liab and now XSN starting it off with a gold card. Glacial Fisher blocking the way for Chaz. Sonic Wave did not connect this time, but they leave the Ezreal. He's going to fall down. Lido's entrance re-entering the fight. However, it's not the best idea as that's just going to lead. Get the end of their turn, but now mid lane. Oh, they're engaging now. The favors to start it off. However, the cast blows them off away from each other. And Miggy with a nice Dragon's Rage getting the kill on the Marky. They will finish this off quite easily because Liap Esports are so ahead and they burn this game number one poster. And we have Miggy hovering here. This is going to be two versus three in favor of Liap Esports. They look oh. punished. This Kitty getting the first blood here. And this will hurt a lot, especially as a side. But now, here onto the Baron lane. Perfect. Yeah, Asila getting cut out here in the Baron lane. They managed to get a kill here. And Miggy oh. with the Guardian Angel be safe even from the engages here from XSN but he's still going in now on the Chaz nice ulti there by the Vi stopping him from escaping they take one just for exchange for this dragon yeah that was great great trade coming in from the Abyss yeah, between our RQ but now it's gonna be bot lane Yilios Yilios getting cut out goes golden however I'm not quite sure if it's going to survive he's trying his best here Looking to engage in the top lane, XSN overextending a little bit. This entrance just to really engage here from the assault and battery onto that Janna, but it, I think it's the wrong target. As Jazz is hunting, this what? is a but oh my, nice outplay comes in. The Janna with the Hail Mary for that monsoon. However, it's not enough into a 1k gold difference. Now TP's out. Yeah, it TP's out and RQ are contesting this. They're not allowing them to take this Baron just that easily. However, Liam Esports saying we can take you head on right now. Leading the way here is Nixu going hard as they get the unofficial ace here. Mm -hmm. Liam Esports with one man down for their team. It's gonna be a disadvantage. Yeah, they're going to contest definitely here on the side of Liam Esports, but it's going to be very difficult. Exocent is not here. Elder Dragon is quite low. Chaz is trying to prioritize it. Multiple fights is happening, and RRQ managed to get the Dragon. Now Liam Esports are falling back. It's up to Gambit now against Thor, against the world right now as Exocent is trying to teleport, but we're seeing Nixu rushing onto the Nexus. It's going to be very difficult. RRQ needs to do something about this, but Exocent is preventing them from disengaging destiny comes nixu is rushing there is nixu, also nixu. earl god trying to prevent this pure from uh, split pushing nixu. But it's nearly there oh, it, but oh. he managed to get it with the help of the minions what? and the lee of esports take this game number two and defeat rrq with better magno oh my gosh i am Speechless.